Twitch is still active, and then that last jump would just be heard. Alright, cool. I thought the piece was just going to end, so I didn't think I had time, but I did. I think I had Super Brain? That'd be cool. That's why I can't go that way. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Super Brain would be cool. It's just execution at this point. We know what we have to do. Oh, it goes faster if I stand on it too long. Okay. Alright, dude. I'll see you later, man. Thanks for dropping by. Hey, were you guys watching MMC last night when uh, Test T. Coles donated? That was great. Ten seconds too. There's no way, dude. There's no way I'm beating this in ten seconds. I think it's funny that Nintendo sent me the exact same kind of level, but way harder. Like, oh, think you're good? If you guys didn't know about Patty before... Surprise, surprise. Patty's a pretty cool dude. chat was calling them yesterday. Little Order. The thing is, though, Patty's way more witty than I am. I've got the, I've got the tones, but I ain't got the wits to run it like he does. He's a, he's a better driver than I am. Alright, 
Hey, Moist Midges, how's it going, man? I wish I had, like, an extra block to react to that spike there. Can you wall click and clip an SMB1? Yeah. But I would still need P-Speed to do it, and you can't get it in this little bit of area. And then even then, I don't think I could get enough momentum to touch the flagpole from the right-hand side regardless. I mean, honestly, the level could just be apart from the key door, and it would still probably take me a lot of life, if not all of them, to, to potentially beat it. Like, this level could just be the part after the key door, and I would still probably lose to it. That's how hard this level is. Everyone just got here. This is the second level of the day. The first level was the same except easier. I just think I think I think Nintendo's on to me. They're like, yo, this guy. Every time he beats a level, give him a level that's harder. He gets he gets no breaks. Your second job. Rip dude. Have a good one, man. Ah, uh, blame me. Boom, 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 ba -dum, boom, 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 Haven't have it had an it's it ice cream. It's it's it ice cream. No, never even heard of that. It's very epic. No. Even if I could wall clip, I wouldn't be able to get... I wouldn't be able to get enough momentum to get from from where the left side is. Like, if I jump up left wall, there's not enough momentum to get into the spikes. There's barely enough to get in there with, like, good momentum, let alone with none. How's it going, next, Keeney? How you doing today? thing is like the last jump is like the hard the last two jumps are like the hardest and they're at the very end and I can't even get to that I don't think this level is cool I think this level is butt I mean obviously the person who made it was really skilled to be able to do it but I wouldn't want to play this outside of 100 man either I don't like 10 second levels I like levels that are long or decently long decent length have good flow 
I don't care if they don't look the greatest. I'm not even like a huge fan of super precision. There's no time limit, it just depends as long as it flows well. I don't like speedruns at all. I don't know, I just like enjoying the level, you know? I like to be able to take my time on, on jumps. I like to be able to know what I'm getting into. No, not 500 seconds of fun, please, not that. Hey Elvis, how you doing, man? I mean, I could just save and exit, because I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to beat this, but I don't, I don't know if people enjoy when I save and quit a level that I don't think I'll beat, because they never know. They want to see if I can clutch it. You guys are okay with saving quits on levels you don't think I, I don't think I can beat? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I did it a little while ago because it just it's annoying to watch the same level over and over again. It doesn't make me miserable, it's just when it comes to entertainment and being, you know, fun to watch, there's no progress. It's the same thing for all my lives. And it just Because <laughs> I wanted the, the Koopa to take with me. Protection. So, the thing that sucked about the... Boo -doo -boo -boo. The whole level was that pick a enemy.
What happened at TwitchCon? Um... So on Friday, they were so over capacity and so understaffed that there was like upwards of six hours of wait time to get in. And their response to that was anybody who was <clears throat> a Friday pass holder could get into Saturday for free. Now think about this. How many people who went to TwitchCon for just Friday would be able to would have the the ability to go on Saturday as well. Chances are, if you went for just Friday, that's all you could do. And you already planned your hotel and everything around that. So they're like, yeah, come an extra day. Who? How many people? I mean, I'm sure there were some people who could. But how many could realistically... get in another day? Part two, if you had a Friday and Saturday pass, or a three-day pass, you got nothing. Just a, tomorrow. You got nothing for it. So, while that's only the first thing they offered, I'll get to the other things later. So right off the bat, you're offering emptiness. Just, just, to, just to save face. Hey, we sucked. Here's, ba here's pretty much nothing in return. Then, the second thing they offered was, um... Oh yeah, we'll keep the, we'll keep the, uh, the place open for an extra hour. Yeah, well, a lot of the people probably already planned to leave at 6. So, I heard that even though they were open an extra hour, none of the booths were. So you were basically just hanging out with friends for an extra hour, you can do that anywhere. You don't need a convention to do that. So, boom. Another, another empty, empty thing to give out. Was there more to TwitchCon than GDQX? Yeah. I mean, it's a whole convention for three days. It has, like, booths and stuff there, and meet and greets with your favorite streamers, or... We'll hope maybe your favorite streamers, some streamers. Um, I think there was something else that I can't remember what they. But either way, everything they offered was just like a. Haha, <laughs> look, we're helping. We're giving back to you guys. But really, it was just a... Here's practically nothing. Oh yeah, the, the, the partner party was over capacity. So if you didn't get to the partner party early enough, you couldn't even go to the partner party. Thanks for making us money. Sorry you can't come to the party we throw for you because we're over capacity. I don't know how bad it was Saturday from having... I mean, I can't... Like, people thought it would be bad. But I really don't think Saturday would, would, was is going to be any worse than what it was on Friday because, like I said, all those people have their weekend plan. It'd be hard for them to be like, okay, now I gotta book an extra night at the hotel, which is gonna cost a bunch of money. I gotta, you know, they probably don't even have the time. You know, they gotta reschedule their flight. Like, how many people are gonna be able to reschedule?
come from come to come on Saturday for us on us. But like, if you just plan to go Friday, chances are it's the only day you can make it. Apparently TwitchCon's always really bad at all this stuff. Apparently this isn't even like a a rare occurrence, it's like how TwitchCon usually is. Basically, TwitchCon is just a convention for made easy for those who make Amazon money. Everybody else is like, hey, you can come, but it's gonna suck. I mean, I just don't understand if you know how many people are coming because you're selling the tickets and you you should know you should have the people and the capacity to hold this many people. Hey Lewis, how's it going? <laughs> 